back. We're gonna yank this motor, yank this transmission out of it while it's here at the shop. Since I have a nice big open parking lot, it won't be as big of a pain in butt as to try to do this at the house, which we don't wanna deal with. So the goal is get motor, get transmission out, leave it here at the shop. That way, if I wanna sell that, uh, I like to sell things at my business during business hours and not deal with people at my house. Um, get them yanked out, put them out back, post them for sale, and then get the rolling shell, it barely rolls because of the wheels, but get that back on the trailer um, and take it to the house and put it on the side of the house. That way we have no motor to deal with, no transmission to deal with. All we basically have is a shell. I'm probably also gonna go ahead and cut the floors out of it while it's here, maybe. Uh, I know I gotta cut part of the seat out, so I'll probably just go ahead and cut a pretty big section of the floor out while it's here so that that also is not in my way. So let's get at it. Let's rip this out this morning and um, get one more small piece done on the start of the journey of this Maverick to see where we're gonna go with it. So we got the motor, got it out. We're gonna put it around back, put it for sale. And now we can get this bad boy to the house and not have to deal with working around a motor and transmission. Take a little bit of weight off of it also, so it's a little easier to maneuver uh, while we figure out what we're gonna do with this thing because I'm still not 100% sure yet. I still gotta get the seat out later today and get the carpet out, get it all in a dumpster while it's here and then load it back up on the trailer but that's gonna be it for this morning. I got to do some work to pay the bills, right? All right, parting for the win. Of course, just like all the other times when you're trying to film here in North Carolina, it seems like it wants to get all windy. So uh, got the floor ripped out of it. Uh, the seat was stuck on that side. I tried to cut the bolt, it wasn't happening. So I said, screw this. I'm just cutting the floor out of it because we are not using the floor anyway because obviously the floor is in terrible shape. So really bad shape over there. Um, if we do build this car, it will be either all carbon floors or um, all aluminum floors. It definitely will not be factory floor, probably. I, it might be factory floor. We might put factory floors back in it under the cage. Um, I'm not 100% yet still what we're doing with this car. I just wanted to get all the nasty headliner out of it here at the shop, uh, so I get it in a trash can, and I wanted to get that bulk of that floor cut out here at the shop, so I throw it in the dumpster because it's still attached to the freaking seat. Um, and this also makes sure that there's no creepy crawlers hanging out inside of here that are gonna piss me off because they piss me off really fast. And I'll be done burnt this thing to the ground over one of them. So hopefully we have cut enough of it out, took the motor and transmission out where there's nothing else 
left in it. So I need to rip that back seat out. I can't remember how the back seat was in these. Oh yeah, there's that bolt down there in the bottom. So you got a little bolt right there in the center on the bottom. It needs to come out. We'll save that for the house. I don't really have to have the back seats out right now. Um, I'd like to get them side panels out because they are they look like they're in good shape definitely usable and they're black so they're actually still really flexible my other ones are crumbling and they were green and we painted them so um yeah that's what it looks like as of right now you can see over here how bad the how bad the floors are but really it's not that bad like when we look at the rockers like they're there and that was all solid metal, like part of it. So, I mean, it's it's all there in the rockers, it looks like. It appears like it's not, the rockers are not terrible. I mean, you got this rust, but you know, I mean, we can put a patch panel in right here. We'd probably literally just cut this down here and make this solid. There wouldn't be no more seam here. We would just make this solid, but all up inside there is not bad. Of course, you got your quarter panels, but dude, I think this car is worth saving all day long um, from what I can see so far. All of this structure up in there looks pretty good. All the undercoating is peeling off. But we'd be cutting all, a lot of that out for tube work anyway. Uh, front bumper, if anybody's going to ask about it, I will sell it. It's dented up a little there, a little there. It needs to be dollied straight. And it does have this going on right here in this corner. Uh, what I'm going to probably do is I'm probably going to weld this back up. This little area right here where it's crunched in i'll probably weld this back up grind this i'll probably dolly this hump out and the bottom of it is all solid yeah and i'll dolly that hump out let's see here all over here looks pretty solid looks like the chrome's cracking but this is what i'm gonna do i'll i'm gonna dolly out the bumper weld up anything that's damaged bumper straight it's not messed up and I'm gonna put it in epoxy primer for somebody so somebody can paint to match it to their car because obviously the chrome is bad or if somebody wants to redip it they can redip it um so i know these bumpers are getting extremely extremely hard to find so if anybody wants it let me know the lower valence um i don't think i can do anything with it it's messed up on that side pretty bad i mean somebody could dolly it out if somebody wants that lower valence and they're near me, I'd do it for $50. I mean, I'm definitely not trashing it. These parts are freaking getting really hard to find. So, I mean, I'm definitely not going to trash it because I'll dolly it out. Get all the Maverick badges off of it. Yeah, I mean, the rockers are not bad. What happened, Ed? You cut your finger off? How did I do all this and didn't cut myself and you're in there pulling airbags and you cut yourself? It don't make no sense, does it? Door panels are all here, but I'm sure once you start pulling them, they'll fall apart. Um, door hinges, I think, are okay. They appear to be decent. They probably need to be sanded down and rebuilt. The dash, I'm not selling at the moment. Um, obviously, I'm going to keep it for myself. Uh, lower, upper, all that's not for sale. The column, if anybody for some reason wanted a column, it'd be for sale. I'm not selling the back quarter plastics. I'm not selling the kick panel plastics. Um not selling the well no actually i will the aluminum i have it at the house that come out of here they're in pretty decent shape shape if somebody wants them i'll sell them if you need anything out of the doors the windows still go up and down perfect so all the regulators are good and um, the little plastic bushings that hold your glass in that are getting hard to find they're all they should be in there and good um all the arm wrestle trash no <laughs> The back bumper, somebody could definitely hammer it out and straighten it, but it does have rust all in it right there. If somebody wants the back bumper, I'll do 50 on it also. Just because if they don't, like I could still possibly use that for something. I don't think I'd be using it on this car, but that can definitely be straightened out in a patch panel welded in on that side. It looks like another spot right here, either weak chrome or yeah we'll do like forty dollars i mean if nobody wants this stuff like i'm not getting rid of it like i understand if you buy the back bumper i'll do the valence for free there's not much left of it but you can put a strip up here and you can dolly that side out where it's damaged 
So I'll do the package deal for $40 if somebody wants the back bumper and the valence to straighten it out as a project. If somebody needs that tail light, $40. Uh, the trunk lid, I can't remember. I think it was usable. I think it was usable. If somebody wants it, I mean, we'll have to look at it and make a deal on it. I don't have the keys right now. Actually, the keys are in the trunk. I'm not going to get them. All the trim... I don't know if I want to sell it or not. I probably will. Somebody just email me. My email's in the description. So if you want any of this trim around the window, let me know. I do have some trim off my Comet also. I have all of these uh, drip rail trims off my Comet that are in amazing shape. Uh, if anybody needs drip rail trim and on my Comet, I have the trim that runs down the body line up and over, I think. And I had some of the wheel well trim on my Comet because my Comet was like fully loaded. If anybody needs any marker lights, let me know. Some of them are a little chipped and stuff, but they might be a salvageable. And I do, I think I have one or two extras off the Comet. Door handle parts, let me know. Door handles are not for sale. Door handles will get um, either moved to the fiberglass doors or they'll definitely probably get powder coated. Uh, mirrors are for sale. We'll just have to figure out what they're worth. I won't be using the mirrors, I don't think. So I'll let somebody get the mirrors. Oh, let's see here I'm trying to think y'all just email me it's in the description emails in the description it's always in the description every video my contact information is in the description glass if somebody needs a side window or the door glass i'll sell it uh, windshield we can do a deal with it i don't know if it'll crack or if we can get it out it looks like it does have some damage down here along the bottom you can see right there I don't know if somebody can work with that or if somebody wants to clean it up. I don't know price on that. Just message me. And then the windshield trim. I don't know if I want to sell the windshield trim because I did a number on my comment one. I probably won't. Just message me. Maybe if it's worth it, if somebody really wants it, if somebody makes me a deal. If you need any metal, you know, there is still some good metal. Battery tray is gone. Of course, somebody had um, put a piece of plywood, built a plywood box for the battery tray there. Washer reservoir is there. I think that's washer reservoir. It might be coolant overflow. Y'all correct me, whatever it is. Um, I have another one off of the Comet still. Got this one. Uh, I've got the, I sold the hood prop off of the Comet, but I have this hood prop. Um, this latch looks like it's no good, but this main support piece right here, is solid uh the filler piece behind the bumper that's in amazing shape so we'll probably do i don't know if i want to sell it because i might put it on the drag car because we will be obviously putting everything back on just in fiberglass i don't know if somebody wants it message me make me offer it might be worth letting go if somebody needs it a lot of this stuff y'all got to understand that i bought this car not to really part out kind of but to also keep uh hood hinges are good if anybody needs hood hinges, let me know. Windshield wiper arms are good. You're just going to need wipers, let me know. All that small stuff, I'm just going to have to price, uh, see what it's going for. Just let me know. Message me, whatever you need. Chrome trim around the doors. I mean, there's still, there's a lot of meat left here in small pieces. Um, but yeah, pedals, if you need pedals, uh, these can come out. Or I have the brake and the gas, I think, out of the Comet. Um, dash pads, trash, sun visors. I don't even know if these are worth anybody using. Message me if you want them or if you need them. We'll talk. All the quarter windows. I'll probably let the glass ride. If somebody needs the glass, I'll probably let the glass ride, but I'm not letting the frame ride because you can put your uh optic armor or plate or lexan inside that frame so i don't think i'm gonna let the frame ride however if somebody needs it and it's you know you'll pay a fair amount let me know because i don't mind just putting lexan straight in and i might still do that i might honestly just get rid of all of that so just shoot me a message and let's talk let's work it out all these little pieces right here they are pitted but this is easy to sand with a grinding wheel and put it through epoxy primer and paint to match that's what i did on 
the uh, the comet, and if nobody sells them, we'll put them back on the car probably. I do have to get them off to make sure there's no rust down behind there. So just message me if y'all need anything and let me know what you need or what you want out of it, and I'll try to help y'all. I'm located in Wilmington, North Carolina, so I'm all over the place in about a two-hour radius sometimes for the racetracks. So I don't mind me in. Anything small, I don't mind shipping. We accept credit cards, and we do PayPal and all that. So you're just going to have to message me, and we'll just take it case by case. Uh, the vinyl top trims are not for sale. One thing about this car that I liked was the vinyl top, so it will be getting a vinyl top back on it if I build this car, and it will be getting some color. This car will not be black. I'm a painter. I'm sick of black. There's too many beautiful, wild, exotic colors out there this thing will get some kind of color it will be colorful it will not um, be freaking black vinyl top will definitely probably be black but yeah gas cap was gone i do have the gas cap but i'm gonna recondition it um it's not worth selling i'm gonna keep it to do it myself i might powder coat or re-clear the center insert or something so like comment subscribe share y'all hit me up my email's in the uh, description if you need anything thanks y'all